rushing off to collect mushrooms, the fruits of the fungus world. It's a good idea to take a class and field trip with knowledgeable mushroom hunters. I also recommend handbooks like All That the Rain Promises and More, and the definitive book Mushrooms Demystified by David Arora. Armed with your new knowledge, you can have a lot of fun collecting interesting, delectable fungi, but always proceed with caution, avoiding the beautiful hallucinogenic but life-threatening variety. This has been a year of mushrooms. We've got these ones, which are interesting, very bright yellow, but they're poisonous. There's another type that's similar that grows on wood that I've picked that are not. I can tell them apart, but today, we got some in the back, and these are very edible. They're parasols. So we're going to clean up and pick a few of them. Okay, I went through my identification process. Pretty sure these are the shaggy parasol. Uh, most of all, in the parasol family, are very edible. In fact, uh, they are said to be excellent. There is one other variety that's not edible. It's the green spored parasol. You need to be careful of that if you're collecting them. They're a little more white on top, and uh, you'll see that the spores are a green-gray color. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a spore print to see what color the spores are for this, just to ensure it's not the other variety that's eh, it's listed as poisonous. It just makes you ill to your stomach for a few days. Uh, if this has green spores, then uh, we don't eat it. If it's white spores, we're good to go. With Halloween, we didn't get to these fast enough, so I had to toss them, but we'll get fresh ones, but you can clearly see that the spores are white as they're put onto a, a darker background. So, I'm gonna go pick some fresh ones. All right, it's time to go foraging. So what we're looking for, we've got some growing, is called the Shaggy Parasol also known as Lepiota reshodes, sometimes macro Lepiota reshodes. So here it is, this is the shaggy parasol. Uh, we picked a bunch from over here. We got more coming up. And you can see how they're shaggy looking. Looks like some bugs may have gotten some of these, but we'll go pick, oh, I think this one right here. There you go. You can see that shaggy look to the top. We'll get this one cleaned up and we're going to put it uh, put it in a pan and cook it up for breakfast with some eggs. Okay, it's time to clean this up. We want to use uh, cool water, make sure it's cooled down and light. You don't want to, you don't want to over clean a mushroom. This has a really meaty flavor and so this is a very light rubber basting. That's what I like to use. That allow us to just brush it off, kind of clean it off without really losing anything. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. I can see there's an area that's rotted. Probably some bugs were eating in that area. We'll just clearly cut all of that out. So we have no issues. Just lightly go into those gills, but we don't want to over clean. Also, with these, you uh, uh, you don't want to eat the stems. Um, they're just a little too fibrous. Although you can use them, uh, you could clean them up and you could put them into a stew and uh, just go ahead and pull all those flavors out. So we'll just eat the cap. And I'm gonna go ahead and give these a, a good size slice, actually. They are really good for using in like stews and meat dishes with rice or game dishes uh, with buffalo, things of that nature. In my case, we're gonna go ahead, we wanna get all the moisture out, we're gonna go ahead uh, and put it on the stove. I'm gonna add a generous amount of olive oil. A lot of people prefer butter. I use olive oil because it's just a little more healthful, but it still brings out the flavors very well. I'm going to add just a little bit of rosemary uh, from our garden and a little basil from our garden as well, just for the heck of it. We're going to let that heat up in the oil. I'm turning this on to medium, medium high. 
a lot of people prefer to cook this fairly high. I like to start off a little lower and then raise the heat up. We can draw all the moisture out of the mushrooms and hopefully that flavor will transfer into the oils. Meanwhile, the stems are gonna go back into the compost pile. I can really smell that rosemary and basil mixing in with olive oil, it smells wonderful. And we're gonna start just reducing all the water out of the mushroom. The guy did add a pinch of salt. The salt is going to help with the water production. I like the idea of just a little pepper on there as well. So we'll get some fresh ground pepper going. It smells wonderful. You can see just how much water is coming out of this. Some people like to use large slices and broil these. They're also very good for stuffing the caps with wild rice, meats. It's also very good with uh, rich red wine type sauces because it can be very meaty. Starting to get a golden brown appearance. That's exactly what we want for eggs. I like to use a single egg. And then I add in three quarters of a cup of egg whites. A nice healthy breakfast. We're just going to pour that right on top. I'm going to do scrambled eggs rather than going for omelet style this morning. Give it a chance to really mix some of those flavors in. And I've diced up two pieces of Canadian bacon. Again, very healthy. Help me keep that weight off. Because as you all know, I do enjoy my beer. That's my sugar. And there we have it. All right, I, I do eggs with Canadian bacon often. I don't get the treat of having the mushrooms too often. But let's give this a try. Mmm, that's wonderful. It's just a very light, extra earthy, meaty flavor. It's not super intense. It is kind of magnified through there and lightly get some of those herbs. Wonderful. I suggest that if you decide to start foraging for mushrooms that you get a good book. Uh, find a small one, a lot of pictures. And the more definitive book is Mushrooms Demystified, which I have. It's a nice thick book, with a lot of information. Go out, take a class. There are a lot of local classes that will teach you how to forage and, uh, and what to look for. Teach you about mushrooms and go out with a group, get some training. But I'd say enjoy it, uh, and sometimes you get lucky, and the mushrooms come right to your own backyard. Happy cooking. We'll catch you all later.